Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to add a new contact form on the WordPress website, which will allow your customer to send the text message, video message, voice message, as well as the screen recordings. Let me show you an example of the contact form that I have created on this WordPress website. In the bottom right hand corner, you will see this icon. This icon is nothing but a contact form. When someone clicks on it, it will open a contact form. I'm going to click on it. Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. If you have any question, leave a message in the comment box. So this is the welcome message from the support. Now, if your customer wants to send a message, they can use four different options, text message, voice message, video message, or screen record. So they can also record their computer screen and they can send it through this contact form. Let me show you how does this work. If I click on text message, I can send a text message from here. Let me send one demo message. Click next. Here the customer will need to enter the name, email address, phone number. So I'm going to add some dummy content here. Click submit. So it says that, thank you, your message has been sent successfully. Now let me show you another example. Now if your customer wants to send a video, they can click on video and they will get two different options. They can record the video or they can upload previously recorded video. If I click on record video, it will ask me to allow the camera access. So I'm going to allow and I'm going to record a small video here. Hi, I'm recording this video message for the testing purpose. Once done, you can simply close it. The video is recorded and I can send it. All right, the video message is also sent successfully. Now, if you want to send a voice message, you can send the voice message also. Let me show you. Hi, I'm recording this message as a test. I'm going to send this message to the admin. Okay, ready to send, click yes. All right, so this message is also sent. So I'm going to log into the website and here you can see the admin dashboard. Let me refresh it. And on the admin dashboard, you will see the conversation with the customer. If I click on it, you will see the first text message that we sent using the text field. This is the second message. And this is the video message that we recorded. Hi, I'm recording this video message for the testing purpose. And this is the voice message. Hi, I'm recording this message as a test. I'm going to send this message to the admin. You can also integrate your Google Drive with this plugin and you can store all these media files on your Google Drive. So instead of saving all these media files on your hosting server, you can upload them directly to your Google Drive. So let's see how we can install this new contact form which will allow your customer to send text, video, voice or screen recording messages. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website now we are going to install a new plugin. Let me show you the website of the plugin first. This is the plugin that I'm going to install. The name of the plugin is HelpGent. I'll give the link in the description box. If you want to visit this website, use my link in the description box. This is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin. Let me show you the pricing of this plugin. For single site, it will cost you $64 per year. And if you want to use it for multiple website, it will cost you $107 per year for 10 websites. And for unlimited websites, it will cost you $180 per year. Currently there is a discount going on and that's why you can see the price is $64 instead of $99. So if there is any coupon or discount going on, I'll give you that information in this video's description box. So I already have this grow plan. So let me go to the dashboard. So when you buy this plugin, you will create an account on this website. And from there you can download the plugin. 
so i have the account and i'll go to the downloads and i can see the plugin here help gen so let me download it all right so the plugin is downloaded let's go back to the website and go to plugins and click on add new we have it downloaded so let's go to upload plugin click on browse and browse the plugin click on install now meanwhile let me show you the website this is an e-commerce website that i have designed using elementor and woocommerce plugin i have already published a detailed video on how to create e-commerce website using woocommerce and elementor plugin this video is more than eight hours video if you want to watch this video i'll give you the link in the description box all right so the plugin has been uploaded now let's click on activate plugin now in the left hand panel you will see the option help gent click on it now let's go to settings now first we will enter our license key so let's go to the license and here you can enter your license key let me get the license key for my plugin all right so it is activated let's go back to general settings so these are the basic settings of this plugin you will see the option here enable guest conversation chat head position bottom right or bottom left or middle so this will be the chat position you can see it on their website here this is the chat head position voice and video maximum video record length will be two minutes if you want to decrease it you can decrease it to one minute maximum voice record length you can keep it on two minutes if you want to increase you can increase the length video resolution you can keep it to the minimum if you do not need hd videos you can keep it to the minimum maximum upload size this will be the upload size of the video so let's make it 200 mb so the visitor will be able to upload up to 200 mb file size remove attachments after 20 days so let's make it seven days so after seven days it is going to remove the attachment from the database Okay, so this is going to upload the files on your local server. However, you can integrate the Google Drive with this plugin and you can upload your files directly to the Google Drive. Save changes. Let's go to email. Enable email notification. So this will enable the notification. Every message in a conversation. It will send email for every message in conversation. I'm going to set it to first message in conversation. User event. First message in conversation. So we will keep it on first message only email template so this will be the email template email header background color so this will be the background color for the email header and you can see the name of the person message reply or name today now so i'm going to keep it as it is email subject welcome to support and you can enter your website name here email body this will be the body dear name of the customer thank you for sharing your concern this is the content of the email if you want to change it you can change the content email body guest this is for the guest email subject new message from the name email body will be this enable footer so leave it as it is let's save the changes Let's go to integration. Under integration, you will see Google Drive. If you want to store all the files to your Google Drive, you can enable this option. And you just need to click on connect. And after that, you can connect your Google account with this plugin. And it is going to send all the files directly to the Google Drive. So let me select one of my Google accounts. Let's click continue. So you can see that it is connected and it will show the remaining space on the Google Drive. Right, so let's save the changes. Now let's go to forms. Here you will see the forms option, click on it. So now we are going to customize the form. So this is the form, the help gent demo form. If you want to create a new one, you can create a new one. I click on new form and let's name it as contact form. Click on create form. You will see the fields what info do you want to collect from the visitor so i'm going to select name email phone number 
So these are the basic required fields, name and email. If you want to add phone number, you can add it. Otherwise, you can simply uncheck it and it is not going to collect the phone number from the visitor. If you want it, you can simply check the box. Let's click next. On the next, you can customize the form. Here you will see two different themes, theme one and theme two. So we have got video, voice and text. I'll keep the theme one. Now for the background, if you want to add image, you can add image. If you want to record video as the welcome message, you can record the video also. So this is the greeting message. Hello there. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. Please leave your questions below. How would you like to contact? So these are the options, video, voice and text. If you want to allow the customer to send the screen record, they can send the screen record also. So I'm going to enable this option. So you will see now four options available. And this is the footer message. You can review it before sending. Powered by, you will see the name here. If you want to delete, you can delete that one. Now greet message color. So this is the message color. You will see a white color. If you want to change it, you can change the color. Just like this. So these are the basic settings. Greet message color, chat title color. So this is the title color. So I'm not going to make any changes, but you can play with the settings. Let's add image or video. I have already recorded one small video. So I'm going to upload that video here. Click use this media. And you will see that media is added here. Let's play this one. Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. If you have any questions, leave a message in the comment box. So this is a short message that I have added here. If you want to replace it, you can replace it. If you want only the image, you can add only the image. Right now, let's click next. On the next, you will see the thank you message. If you want to add button, you can add button here, which will lead them to any other page. If you want them to go to another page. So I'm going to select the shop page and I'm going to name it as shop now. So when someone clicks on it, it will go to shop page of your website. This is the background color. You can change the background color. Okay, so this one looks good to me. So I'm going to click on save. If you go back to general tab here, you will see the option display on selected pages. If you want to show this form on selected pages, you can simply enable it. And from here, you can select the page. You can select the home page. Let's add one more page. Let's go to contact page. Let's install it on the contact page also. It will show the list of pages on your website. So I'm going to select three pages. So it will show on these three pages. Let's click save. All right now let's go back to the website and right now I am on the shop page. Let me go back to home page. Bottom right hand corner, you will see the new contact form. So if I click on it, it will open the form. Quick tips. If you have any questions, leave a message in the comment box. So right now I am logged into the website here. So let me open it in another browser. So I'm going to open this website in other browser where I'm not logged in. All right, so I have opened this website in a new browser. So I'm going to click on it. Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. If you have any questions, leave a message in the comment box. All right, so I'm going to use text message. Okay, now let's click next. And I'm going to add some dummy name here. Click submit. You will see the thank you page also and the message has been sent successfully. Let's close this one. Let's go to the contact page. We have it on the contact page also. Now let's let me click on it again. And this time I'm going to send video. So let's click on video. If you have any video already recorded, you can send that using the upload video or you can click on record video and record the live video and upload it. So I'm going to send the already uploaded video. So this is the same video I'm going to send. Click on send. Now I need to enter the name also. So I'm going to enter another name here. Click submit. All right, so it has been sent successfully. Close it. 
So similarly, if you want to use the voice message, you can simply click on it. After that, you can record your voice and send it to the admin. If you want to record the screen, you can click on record screen and you can start the recording from here. Here it will ask you which tab or the window you want to record. So I'm going to select one window here. I'm going to select the same window and click share and it will now start recording the video. All right, you can stop the sharing. And once it is done, you can send it across. Let's go back to the admin panel. So we are back to the website. Let's go to the help gen. Let's click on all messages. So whenever someone fills up the form, it will send me an email also. So I'll get the notification through email and I can see all the contacts and the communication with these customer on the dashboard. So this is the first contact. If I click on it, it will show me the details. So this was the simple text message. I just need help with purchasing the product. This was the message. If you want to reply him, you can reply the customer using video screen, voice or text message. So I can use the text message. So I'm going to reply. And this is very simple. You will see the conversation here. So the customer will also get the notification on their email that someone has replied to your request. Right now, this is the second message. This was, I guess, the video message. And you can see that the video has been uploaded to the dashboard. So I can see the video message. So this is very easy plugin to use. You can add a new way of communication on your WordPress website using this plugin. So if you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.